I talk I will present our last calculation for electron collision with constant atom, mainly it is the neutral atoms and uh, according to the main topic of our meeting I will try to concentrate on accuracy of the present electric impact cross sections and uh, possible source of uncertainties. So first slide simply show uh, where you are from who support our calculations and where we make our calculations in, in one's computer center in Texas University. And uh, in the title we put benchmark results. Benchmark results for us means that we first try to make the calculation with maximum accuracy. It includes careful analysis of possible uncertainties due to limitation of method or codes. Uh, an important question here also the question of convergence and then using these results to estimate the uncertainty for the cross section by comparison with, with measurements of uh, another calculation or just comparison between different approximations for this for one method. And uh, all our calculations obtained with this line R matrix package, which we already uh, developed more than 10 years. This package has some new features that I should describe and each of these features uh, allow us to obtain much more accurate results for many cases. So I provide example here for sketching for noble gases. Also shortly I stay on the extension to the dragon metan, what supposed to increase the accuracy for heavy atoms. More detail I want to stay on the recent extension I will call to the NPI pre desired versions with continuous state approach, which allow us to treat the uh, intermediate energies and uh, check the convergence, and also include uh, in consideration ionization to obtain the complete set of data for applications. And, uh, okay, our method is based on the non equation of starting expression, it is standard method for the low energy scattering and based upon exact expansion total scattering wave function uh, uh, our the known target states. Uh, for many years this method, whole carbon method, remains the as much accurate and reliable method for low energy scattering and in principle you can get very accurate result provided. You have very accurate target description and you include it in close carbon expansions uh, all main scattering channels. But for many electron atoms, it is very difficult computational problem, and you always look for a compromise in target expansion and number of channels included. So these two limitations is the main source of uncertainty for the calculation of electron impact cross sections in this case. So uh, most popular method for solving close coupling expansion is our matrix method for this auditorium audience I don't stay, I just say that on this detail of this method, I just say so based on this method there is already many general computer codes including for the activist equation in the way uh, uh, extensively used for number of calculations, but these codes have a, a few limitations. For example, principal ingredients, uh, they use synth or phonal one electron set of orbital describe a bonus state and continuum. These limitations lead to a difficulties to achieve accurate target representation and uh, appearance of uh, called pseudo states, for example. We try to resolve these uh, problems in our code and distinguish feature of our package is that our package allows to use normal final term dependence orbital set orbitals to represent both bound and continuum states. So what does it provide for us? It is provides us much more accurate target representation which can be generated independently and uh, we directly included such important effect as temporary dependent relaxation or correlations. So we believe that these feature allow us to consider the almost completely reduced uncertainty to the accuracy of target 
States. In our possibility to advantage that knowledge people are constrained for continuous details, so we provide more consistent treatment on electron target and and plus one electron collision system, so no resonances and improved convergence. It is rather a general statement, so I provide a few examples to illustrate with uh, statement. For example, consider the sketching on the potassium plus, here two calculations from standard well pass what in our calculation. You will see that uh, this well pass calculation provides too many pseudo states, mainly due to they use too many pseudo orbitals to describe the correlation in the target states. How it is rather smooth behavior. So, in principle, if we interest in invariate coefficient with to the states, is not so dangerous. But clearly, they provide source of uncertainty for the final states. In our exam, just for reason, because now we're working on the sketching on the oxygen free. And for example, here the results of the LA from standard thermatic spot. And here the edge of the C expansion, and they have rather big resonances above the edge. It should be not. It's just because they overcorrelated with and plus one electron bound terms uh, in the cross carbon expansions. Uh, we don't use this term at all. And for example, these resonances disappear just because these resonances has decay in the more excited state and non appear for this transition between fine structure level of the ground states. So it is another source of uncertainty for the non-consistent description of N target and plus one electron continuum states. In the last example, in this respect, it is convergence. For example, one of our first calculations was calculation of a strong shape resonance for electron magnesium scattering. And here you see the standard rheumatic calls for P waves. If you're looking for a different approximation for different number target state, including the global fiber fashion, you, you will look at results are jump from one maximum to another, no convergence. Our code, it, at least due to this non-formal technique, has very smooth convergence to the final results. It's just a restriction what can be additional source in the due to restriction of code, not the methods. Itself. Okay, now I fit uh, our bisplane or matrix network we to use the bisplanes as universal basis for both bound and continuum orbitals. Now bisplanes are widely used in atomic structure calculation, so I just mentioned that we use it due to uh, excellent numerical properties, flexibilities, and what's important here, bisplane are effectively complete basis, but we don't need additional correlations corrections here for matrix basis, for matrix. Only one is advantage that usually this basis, this spine, is much bigger than in standard code applications. And, uh, okay, here just list of progress of our code and what excitation processes we consider. We consider many electric skating on neutrals but we also have some calculations for electron skating on ions and the protonization for the detachment by correlation is very important. Also, what can be used for a atomic structure calculation if parameters needed for whole and the series, for example. Here I put already what atoms in the yellow we consider and just for illustration take the excitation on the noble gases for example, what we have for excitation of the production, in the stable productions. Very, very good measurements. And uh, what we have before our calculations, in differ different air matrix calculations, and you see only qualitative agreement between theory and experiments. What's the reason here? So, a good agreement, because it is due to well-known, very strong temp dependence on atomic orbitals that can be reproduced in the standard <coughs> atomic codes. So we applied our technique and use for each state's temp dependent orbital generated independently, very accurately, in big expansion, 
and what we obtain here in the red our results. You see, for neon and argon, we already obtained the perfect agreement with the resonance behavior and, uh, and the resonance structure after small randomization in argon and cascade contribution. For krypton, it's not so good, but nevertheless, it is also repro reproduce all resonances and big improvement uh, in comparison with previous calculations. So, main reason it is it is using the accurate target wave functions to obtain these results. Okay, we use it as us. It is was our well, our first calculation, and we use as business cards for our method for our. Atom we also obtain improvement, but maybe not so impressive, but still improvement. But here one question. What we find on certainty of these results? Because we to take this relative agreement, relative behavior, we multiply on this coefficient shook here. It is this coefficient inside the error box. But still, if we can trust this calculation is fine. First, I believe if I have very good relative agreement, so final absolute value should also be logarithm, but it's not so, as we will see later. So relative agreement is not guaranteed that good. So this result was, ba uh, was uh, made in the break power approximation. You see, for xenon, the agreement is not so perfect, and for our, it is just to relativistic correction solve. Next step was to extend our code to a direct Hamiltonian. Ex this extension rather straightforward. We use the Coulomb Great Hamiltonian. Now we function in GJ coupling, and we have two component wave functions, and each functions are extended in this plane by this in our methods. Uh, but here we have only, we had only one problem because the realization Dragon Yang in this plane on any other finite element basis produced pseudo states. We believe we find very simple practical solution using this plane with different orders. In this case pseudo states disappear and this course also, also retain the key feature. Well, one regular that can be represented by normal for no uh, term dependence radio from the top. So when we use now this relativistic version with the same skating model, so we put the same number of states, we directly get improvement. Uh, remain difference is due to slow convergence because when we manage parallel version and include multiple states that obtain even more good agreement. So we believe, but agreement is intelligent. So now we believe that with relativistic code we have the same accuracy as before for the light atoms. I provide only one example here, much more example included on LED, uh, our LED uh, gold in our heavy atoms in our recent topical review. Okay, more detail, I want to state on recent extension of our code, it is including, it is continued to the state's approach with previous versions. Of course, it is was far ago recognized that including the target continuum in his expansions can provide a dra drastic effect. But direct including the continuum in these expansions numerically very difficult, if not impossible. So while well, we use the so-called continuum to the state approach, different implementation of this approach almost the same. Total atomic momentum generalized in the some finite range basis, any basis and uh, for example in the box we've got walls or it is the in the box with soft walls as Sturman or Lagarde basis. And the states obtained here above ionization threshold used to simulate the target continuum. We use uh, uh, in our approach box base basis because it is perfectly matched our using this plant as universal basis 
for operations. Okay, here we example, for example, for new. Here we close coupling expansions for uh, states of neons, which is just close coupling expansion way of inclusion to P and for S excitations. So we obtain here uh, some parameters of these calculations, so it is rather extensive population. We included 451 states. Yeah. In our basis, it leads to generalization of rather big matrices, and uh, too much resources should be used for the computer, so we use the supercomputer for this task. And what we obtain here? We obtain a drastic reduction on the excitation cross section, for example, here excitation on three states. And here BSR5, for example, it is just close to the disturbed wave results. Inclusion in the model BSR31, the 31 target state bound states, of course, has big effect, but much bigger effect up to half to two and bigger is inclusion of the target continuum. How we can estimate final uncertainty here it is, I believe it is not possible at the moment because both skating, both uh, experimental results skating, and clearly for final uncertainty we need more calculations with different methods, for example. But in support of our results, we obtain, we solved the long stand problem for, for example, for the differential cross sections. Because before, we cannot describe the shape of differential cross sections for excitation of uh, metastable states. Now, with the inclusion target continuum, we obtain rather good agreement in the shape for the differential cross sections. So I believe our results for neon is close to the convergence here. Okay, even more drastic effect for the change the inclusion target continuum for excitation for 3D states here in factor 5 of 10. And uh, here, for example, we can see how, because BSR 46 is just inclusion all bound states, and BSR 450 is inclusion uh, continuum to the states. Here we have independent populations. They close out with the Armatra conversion by uh, balance, so we can also can consider support to our results. And uh, similar results, even more drastic, if we obtain for excitation of R. Here again, the inclusion of target continuum provides very big effect. Uh, and what is inter interesting, our results much more agree with the first very early results by Tutin and Cartwine and 81, and the last result by Kakov from Sophia University of Japan. But our results are rather sketchy. But in this case, we decided to provide much more careful uh, conversion study, if it is possible. So begin with the start wave calculation, we included included states. So our base calculation is 500. And uh, you see how cross section change. It is reduced the maximum and shifted the maximum. Finally, we have no maximum in the cross section at all. We also have some a few points with additional what maximum we can do to the SR650. It is very close, so we believe now. On the base on the convergence standard, we can estimate uncertainty in limit of five ten percent in this case. Okay, uh, I have a little more example because it is just for the closed shells to be closed shells. We consider our to be shells, for example, lower limit is the to be five shells. Here also big inclusion. I just illustrate our last results that for many atoms with uh, uh, have big effect. And here effect mainly for the excitation for our ground states, but excitation between the excited state is not affected by the time continuum. Okay. 
one more results, for example, our recent published result is nitrogen. Uh, here, what surprised us, where transition between turns on ground configuration is very steep. Almost not effective at all on different approximation. So here, the comparing different approximation provide us very good uh, conclusion that here, cross-section can be considered very accurate if you percent. And uh, what experiment is not be helped because that is <laughs> here very big uh, error box. But for our excitation, for our states, you see that convergence is rather slow and time continue provide a big influence. One more result, one more example of the typicality is excitation of carbon. Here, influence of continuum of the states, you can look, uh, compare the red lines. But influence of accuracy of target states compared with results with blue and uh, red lines that we calculated before. In this last calculation, we use much more big expansion for target states, so much, uh, much more accurate target states. And you see that both here, uh, cross-section depends very much from the both target description continuum to the states. And uh, with uh, influence very much. So here, the simple conclusion, you should first check targets. Only if you get conversion in target states, you can go to uh, study the convergence of the inclusion of the uh, continuum or other states in the post carbon expansion. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time. Okay, one more result in this respect, which is the elastic case of nitrogen. Here we have huge resonance. I put only my calculation here, but in literature you can find many, many other calculations. In many provide with resonance below threshold, many provide above threshold, so no convergence. But we get some convergence, but you never get here right position with resonance with rather low. Abinition. Here, experiment is very important, because here we tune out our results to good the uh, position of this resonance from the uh, experimental data. And now we uh, confidence in our last results. And uh, so we can estimate it is also a very high level of uh, low level uncertainty. Okay, let's continue to uh, uh, more topics and ionization because pseudo states approach uh, obtain also the ionization to uh, allow us ionization cross sections. Uh, for ionization cross section, we need scheduling amplitude. In our approach, we obtain scheduling amplitude as some amplitude for excitation of pseudo states projected to the true continuum. This projection technique it is the distinct feature of our method because the CCC calculation using interpolation between two uh, pseudo states. And uh, of course, we, but total cross section, of course, can be obtained much more cheap. For example, just add up the results for excitation of all continuum pseudo states. But if we're interested in more correlation process, ionization plus excitation. And uh, here we can obtain these results or from channel decomposition of continuum pseudo states, if you have this channel composition, or just from direct integration on triple differential cross section. Last uh, way I consider more accurate, uh, and, but it is much more time-consuming expansion. Okay, check with approach for ionization. We begin with helium, of course, because there is many benchmark experimental calculations. Here, our expansion for the target states. We just for passing expansion with exclusion 1s, 2s, and 2p uh, ionic states. 
And here our considerations, parameters for our calculation show in our approach for this line it is a regular part. Expansion coefficient here obtained direct generalization on the Hamiltonian. And what is important, the same expansion is used for real spectrum when we use it like this projection techniques. Now here we included these 500 states which cover the so the states up to 300 TV. Of course, first check for the total ionization cross section. Here we obtain very good agreement with last CC calculation in experimental, including the 15% reduction in total cross section due to inclusion in a correlation. But I believe Nima will be talk about this also. <laughs> so I uh, better go to the in our process, it is excitation ionization because our technique it is has one feature that allows us also obtain ionization precipitations. What we have here before we start, it is rather contradicted results because all calculations, all uh, early measurements, <coughs> consider which are very well, but will be uh, but last measurements. Married in 2003 provide three times lower results. Here, theory also sketching cannot find us results. When we apply, so there is no hope to put estimation for this process here with these sketching results. Here in the red, our results obtained into method decomposition of pseudo states and direct integration of waves. This method clearly in favor of the early measurements. So now, I believe we can estimate the final estimation as the uh, good and in maybe in the range of 10 15 percent for this complicated, rather complicated uh, process. Okay, I will not stay here. So how many times I have? Uh, yeah, I should talk maybe for about five minutes. Okay. So ionization complex time because it is Gillian, but our approach directly applicable for ionization of Tarvis and here we obtain rather good agreement for many targets for two p shells in the uh, uh, limits of 10, uh, 20 percent. So, but I want to, as I met, remark for previous talk, but hold on. Here, for example, results of 10 dependency calculations, and we explain it because we use simple uh, functions here. Everything here, we are using the very correlated initial state functions. And these provide from 20 to 50 percent in total section, ionization cross sections. Mm. One more question here I want to discuss because here, for example, very popular BAB calculation for estimation cross sections. Here we see the BAB calculation is almost good, coincide with our bar, which is accidental. Because BB calculation include a huge contribution from the excitation ionization, optimization excitation. Our calculation 10 times less. So if take our calculation for an invitation, BB calculation will be much less than the experience. So BB calculation for this for this complex option may be not applied. Okay, I here a summary some of our results for the total cross sections for a new argon. So it is very good agreement for impressive field that our population in one shot provide uh, the accurate results in the big range of energies very good and with and provide also a relative contribution the elastic time excitation ionization uh, results. And uh, these results are put in the Alex Cat database and what applied for modeling of low temperature neon and plasma and uh, good uh, 
no, show good results in a remote fake experiment. Okay, I still want to put, because everything almost done for the neutron, I still put one more uh, transparent show that even accurate representation target states for the multi charge ion is also very important because here comparison of two calculations in the same scheduling approximation, the same number of target states, the standard model and our calculation. And here, the results, for example, gamma ratio between ray coefficients. We see that it's rather big difference. So even for these highly charged ions, we need to use the orbit target states. So um, summary, no well, summary here, just repetition what we say in the close form, I just want to more uh, state on some uncertainty question that I'm thinking when I prepare the, my talk. So, we provide much benchmark results that can be used for uncertain estimation and in our approach considerable reduction, elimination target discrepancy and uncertainty and uh, we systematically check the convergence of cross conspiration. I believe there is no other way to provide good uncertainty without we systematically check, mm -hmm. provide many, many calculations with the increasing source of our states. Okay, many existing that base for neutral should be revealed because so different with the previous calculations, so it is made. Okay, absolute experiment data are different to obtain. Mm, I don't concentrate, but we obtain many examples that after our extensive calculation, normalization of data was reconsidered and dramatically up to a factor of two. So my statement, experimental also considers good as it is coincide with few. <laughs> it concerns of course the absolute value, not the relative value that obtained in experiment very accurately. Okay, I also uh, should co uh, consider that uh, comparison for uncertainty is difficult to uh, comparison with different code and models because different codes have different limitations and uh, even repetition calculation is encouraging because sometimes I have a report, uh, referee report that we already have state of art calculations why we need? But if you use neither another mob, even in other code, we can obtain some new results. Okay, so a little more cheap uh, here, more cheap remarks. For, for example, I will not stay here due to absence of time. Just two technical questions. How to represent a certain <coughs> big set of cross section of rates? For example, um, Citation of the um, iron, to uh, the iron, Simon, we obtained a thousand calculation of 10 energies. This is too much data. So we need uh, for, the, for 10 temperatures. So I believe we need to present for each temperature and for each transition. So, and uh, also I would such remark comparison of published results of all different base is very time consuming. So I would put a question to encourage to develop some software automatic extraction of the data from different databases in comparison and share these results somehow. Okay, that's it. That's it.